All right, I'm going to go over some of the basic and expert settings in Cura. If you're new to Cura, then whenever you first install it, you're going to basically see these options over here. And whenever you go into expert mode, it adds more options over here into the, your menu. Now, there's a couple different ways that you can add options into your menu. And basically what happened with me and happens to a lot of people is you start having issues with, say, like supports. And right here you can see it's there's just one option, generate supports. And you start looking around, you're seeing videos that say add these options in for supports. Well, in order to add options in, you can either go up to configure Cura and then go over to settings. And you can here you can search specifically on whatever you're looking for. But we'll just skim down here through all our settings. And I mean, look at this. Look how many settings there are. It's it's crazy. So what happened with me is you end up going in and adding these one at a time, adding some of them, taking some away. And whenever you check these off over here, they're automatically going to be added to your menu over here. And that's one way of um, sort of building your way up and learning the options in Cura. And one day I watched a video on expert mode in Cura. And in order to get to expert mode, well, let's go down through here. I'll just show you a couple examples. With infill material, you can see that you only have two options. You really can't go wrong. Um, and whenever you set up your printer, Cura is going to automatically put in the appropriate defaults for each one of these settings. But there's not a whole lot of options right here. But if you go up here and you switch over to expert mode, you can see how many options it starts adding in. Now, every one of these takes a learning curve and you don't have to mess with all of these at once. And really what I did was, after I turned this on, I just started mousing over each one of these and it gives you a descriptor of what it does. Some of them are, are relatively uh, easy to understand. Others you might not understand some terminology that you're using in it. But after a while, uh, it be, you become a little bit more intuitive as to what the settings terminology is. And I've found that I can skim th down through this in like no time now. But again, it looks pretty daunting. I mean, look how many settings there are for speed here. Now again, you don't have to mess with a lot of these because it's already going to be set to these settings in basic um, in the background so you don't really need to understand what these are now you can see here that this is a little I guess you will call it a refresh icon so once there's one of these here that means that I made an adjustment to this setting and if I go back here travel speed I don't want to screw my settings up too much but travel speed if I reset that back you can see it was originally set to 180 and I found that to be a little fast so I trimmed that down. I also trimmed my overall print speed. But I'm not going to go into exactly what all these are. I just want to make you aware of how to get to them. And again, you got two options and you'll probably end up doing exactly what I said. You'll end up keeping it on basic. We'll switch back to basic. And you can see infill two options. And preferences configure. If you go to settings settings visibility and if I type in infill then you can see how many options you are now I think if I add like connect infill lines okay so I'm gonna add that you can see it automatically shows up over here so that's one way to see what you're adding in if you already have these open in this you can't scroll through the window over here once this one's open so Again, this is what I did. I ended up going through here cherry picking different things, but I found in the long run that you're probably going to end up working in expert mode anyhow. Switch back to expert. And again, take an hour and mouse over all these and read and see what they are because you're going to end up playing with them one way or another. Um, 
I mean, some people, yes, maybe they'll go forever with just on basic and hit and print. But um, more than likely, you're going to run into some issues and you're going to end up right here anyhow. So almost kind of what I'm saying is get it over with early. Set it to expert mode. Scroll down through. Read what each one is. And um, use some, whether it's a Benchy or a simple model. One of the things I did was I created, of course, I got into Blender and started making my own models, but um, you can start off with, say, Benchy file, um, or grab yourself a simple cube somewhere, something that's small that you can print off. It's not going to use a lot of your filament. It's not going to take a lot of time to print, and you can start messing around and testing these things out. I'm going to go, I'm probably going to break down um, settings for each, well, I'll do some videos that are going into detail on these settings, but that's not really what this one's for. This is just basically showing you that you have a couple options in order to get more options into your menu. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention was that once you make these settings changes, they're pretty much going to stick. So next time you open up Cura, and it'll they'll stick to whatever printer you use. And I have multiple printers, so you have multiple. There's ways to save your profile. I haven't gotten gone there yet because a lot of the stuff I'm printing, I want to keep the same settings for. So. Once I go down that road, um, maybe I'll do something on saving profiles. But for right now, just my biggest advice is go into expert mode, learn that, and move forward. All right, so that's the basics on adding more options to your print settings in Cura. Uh, I don't claim to be an expert on Cura. I'm learning just like you probably are. So hope you learned a few things. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments, and I'll answer them the best I can. Thanks for watching.